Espresso on SABC3 and the big news breaking in the States is that Ozzy Osbourne's son, Jack Osbourne, decided to become a police officer and the headline in the States at the moment is, what will Ozzy say? We want to know when do we have to stop being the bosses as parents and just let our kids do what they want to do. And Nikki Bush, a parenting expert, joining us in studio this morning. Nikki, good morning. Welcome to Expresso. You've been with us a few times already. Thanks, Lisa. And I good thought morning. I'd throw you in the deep end and tell you about uh, the Ozzy Osbourne story. But when do parents have to start letting go? When is it? Is, are you 25? Are you 31? Do you let go at the age of one? I think it's an interesting question because parents actually have children in order to, what, create independent people who can go and <laughs> contribute to the world. Yes. And I think as parents today, it's a modern parenting conundrum that we forget, we lose sight of the fact that we are going to let our children go one day. And we, we have to keep the long-term view in mind when we're bringing up our children because we tend to have very short focus. Let's deal with today's issues right now because it's all urgent, important. But we have to keep that view of how is this child going to be independent from us one day? How are they going to live without us? Are they going to be resourceful? Are they going to be resilient? Will they be able to deal with the blows that life mm. brings? Because life doesn't unfold in a straight line. And so letting go of our children actually starts from a very early age. And that means passing on the baton of responsibility in sh little tiny incremental ways as we go along. Like a good boss should. Like, yeah, like a good <laughs> boss should. So, so, so it really is about... Uh, when you're in the kitchen, allowing your kids to help in the kitchen because one day they have to cook for themselves and we tend to keep all the household chores very close to our hearts. Do we <laughs> let them clear out the dishwasher with us, doing the knives, forks and spoons, sorting them out, popping them back into the drawer when they're uh, age three, four or five? If we don't do that, they won't be helping with chores around the house and we'll have to pay them for mm, that and that's not such a great thing. So it really is about teaching them to light fires safely by starting with a candle and then teaching them to build a fire and teaching them to build a bri so that eventually at the age of eight or nine, they can do this safely and responsibly. And so we just keep letting out those kite strings a little bit, a little bit, a little bit until we can let them fly ultimately when they, they leave the nest. I'm not sure kids do leave the nest these days. It seems they're hanging around for a hell of a long time. And then of course you see the kids going, you ugly, I hate you, uh, you're horrible, mommy. And every child goes through patches of doing that. Yeah. My children have done that too. <laughs> and it's just awful We've when you're a parent it. and your child goes, you're so ugly, you're such an ugly mother. Sarah's so mother's nicer. Horrible. Mm. And it's usually in a moment in time when they cannot get their own way. When they're wanting to do something or they're wanting something and you turn around and you be the boss and you say no. Mm. And then they compare you to other people yes. too. And they go, well, so-and-so's got an iPad and so-and-so is getting 200 and so-and-so's mother lets them stay up till nine o'clock at night. So you are often being compared by your children to other people's mothers, and they compare their own lives to other children's lives. But at the end of the day, you are the boss of your own household, and in time-pressed households, and most households today are time-starved, yes. time-pressed, parents default to what is easy. Let's not rock the boat because I don't have time for my child to have a meltdown. And so we do what's expedient rather than what's perhaps better for the long term of this yes. child. So going back to what we said in the beginning, when do you start letting go? You do start letting go right from the beginning, but you've got to keep in mind what are the skills you need to give your yes. child so that you can let them go because you're going to have to trust mm. in them to let them go. Are they going to be okay? Do they have good decision-making powers? Are they going to choose the right partner? Of course. You know, all these choices, life is full of choices. 